In the murky waters between tradition and modernity, between greed and virtue, between clarity and confusion, a search is on for truth, justice, and a way to return home. They have identified me as the king after my great-grandfather, whose head was beheaded by the then South African Republic. In the Limpopo province in South Africa, there is a conflict of Shakespearean proportion. Something is rotten in the state of Limpopo. Decisions of critical nature about the land, okay, and the life of the people of Mapu is taken by the MEC, okay, in collaboration with the same trust the community is complaining about. But they are misusing the name for a trust which is mistrustful and which is not doing the right relevant thing towards the helping the community. They are just shattering whatever the aims and wishes of the tribe were. A hundred years ago, a war raged. The tribe of Mahoba suffered. Their king was beheaded and the skull never returned. Peace will not come back to the tribe until his body is laid to rest. I can get the original head. This moment I will be rejoicing to eternity because I shall have achieved one of the greatest honor to say now he lived for the land and he died for the land. The management of the National Cultural History Museum and myself were discussing the difficulties surrounding the identification of Mohawk's head. The museum has a few a human remains as well as some skeleton which apparently were acquired during apartheid era under dubious circumstances. The very same head of Chief Mahova was still available within the Transform Museum in Pretoria by the year 1995. There had been a German family living in the Kloof. They then immigrated to Germany and Louis for some reason believed that they had taken the skull with them. He then writes him uh, in the house of one of the, um, of the farmers in the Lofel, he saw the head of Mahoba. As the king searches for his ancestor's head, the Mahoba tribe must also fight for the land from which they were uprooted. And as the dispute simmers on, the coffers are looted by his fellow clansmen, the fields lie fallow, agreements go unsigned, Contracts gather dust and the trust marches on. I'm saying this document, the, the trust, document of the trust was amended without consultation with the community, but also without consultation with the royal house, including the king. So one of the Mahubas, he went behind our backs to organize and, and arrange what is now termed Mampoku Mahuba Community Trust. And then we he didn't inform me as a coach. He just went and gathered his own people and then they, they established a trust. We, we, we have a wonderful uh, land here and we need to protect it, not to let it uh, follow and uh, be useless. I know all about the TV. And the MEC has now resorted to in Parliament to approve some 15 million. He's busy to push in that. There is no key industry in South Africa at the moment. 